So if you want to get rich with coding, do not go to college. You might have been told this lie that, oh, you need a computer science degree to succeed in tech or that, oh, big companies only hire computer science graduates. But that is complete BS in this day and age. You see, even Google don't even require degrees anymore. Yes, this is even relevant to you if you're from a country that technically has free university, which yeah, we'll get back to that concept in a moment. Okay, so this video is going to be a bit controversial. So before I go into absolutely shitting on college, let's recognize that, of course, for some people, for certain situations, college is going to be the right option. Of course, there's still benefits. You do get the stamp of approval of the university. There are still many companies who, all other things being equal, will prefer someone with a degree. I'm absolutely not denying that. The main argument that I'm going to make is basically just going to revolve around whether it's worth the time and money investment versus the other opportunities you have. I did go to university myself, not for computer science, but for economics. And why I did that is a whole another story. But it did help me build my social circle in London, which was also a new city for me. It would have taken me much longer without it. Now, of course, here, the counter argument is that, okay, is it really worth going to university and paying all the prices just to make friends? Probably not, right? But it's still a benefit. And in certain fields like law, medicine, you absolutely need a degree because you simply legally cannot operate in those fields without it. But of course, that's not really what we're talking about here. And of course, in many places around the world, like in Europe, university is free of cost. So you might be tempted to think that you sort of might as well go. And in many cases, that can be the case. Many people, when they graduate high school, they don't even know what they wanna do. So going to university to sort of give yourself more time to think about it, can be an okay option because in those countries, leaving the degree and dropping out has a much smaller cost associated with it than somewhere like America or the UK. And in those cases, you could even enroll in the degree and on the side of doing your degree, because usually you have a lot of free time, at least I did, you can have a side hustle, you can have a bit of time to be allowed to be broke and not making money essentially. And it can allow you to start learning the code on your own perhaps, and like trying these other paths, which are much quicker paths to getting into the industry, while you sort of have the backup option of doing university. So there are cases where university can make sense, but now let's talk about why I have have such a big problem with university. So in the big picture, at any given point of time in history, there are certain opportunities that are the best opportunities to make it in life for that given period of time. For our parents' generation, that was getting a degree in certain fields like economics, finance, computer science. But the thing about the economy is that it always goes in cycles. What worked for your parents' generation is highly likely to no longer be the best opportunity for you because when people realize that something is the best opportunity, everyone is gonna flock to that opportunity and then it's going to become oversaturated. And that is exactly what has happened with university. In the past, it used to be the case that having a degree was something special. It really stood you apart because most people didn't have degrees. Today, literally everyone has a degree because universities and colleges have a financial interest to get as many people as possible to take their degrees. But if you're smart, you should be able to see past that and see that, yes, again, like I said, it can be the right option for some people. It is not the most effective option when you consider not only the financial cost, but all the other costs as well, which we're about to talk about. And the thing about college is that their curriculums are completely outdated. You're being taught by professors that probably never done the thing that you actually want to do. One of the most helpful things in getting to where you want to go in life is talking to people and getting mentoring from people who have actually done the thing you wanna do. Sure, if you wanna be a computer science academic, University is probably the best place for that because those are the people that are teaching you. You're not being taught by software engineers that have worked for the companies that you want to work at. You're not being taught by successful startup founders or entrepreneurs if that's what you want to do. You're not really getting mentoring from the right kinds of people. So you're really learning the wrong mindsets. And talking about careers, it doesn't help you land your dream job at all, besides the piece of paper that you get, which again, sure it helps you, you're not getting any help with building a resume. No one tells you how to apply for jobs because what you really want are not the lectures about Dijkstra's algorithm or something like that. What you want is to learn the skills that the companies actually want and to get a job. And that is simply not what the university curriculum is made for. It is made to build you into an academic. 
that is what it is. But it gets worse because the real cost of university is even more than just the price that you pay. But before we get into that, let's talk about what you could do instead. So college is like the worst of both worlds. It's super expensive, yet it offers the least help with the thing that you actually want, which is a high paying tech job. So how can we get the best of both worlds instead? There's a company called Course Careers that is helping normal average people just like you land 70K jobs in as little as four months. Because what they have developed is first of all, a comprehensive online software engineering curriculum that actually gives the skills that you actually need in the real world. But what really makes it special is that they also help you land a job directly through their program after the fact, which means that there are people like Max who managed to land a job in as little as four months with no previous experience and no degree whatsoever. And some of the top students are literally landing jobs without even applying for jobs at all because of something that I'm about to talk to you about. So the way this process works is that you start off with a completely free introductory course on software development. Then you're going to learn the fundamentals of software development. After that, you can choose a specialization, anything from front end, back end, DevOps. And you remember I talked about mentoring before and how important it is for success Success? Well, Course Careers gives you access to a whole network of industry professionals who offer unlimited one-on-one -on -one and group support. And because I believe in Course Careers so much, I have become their official partner, which means that when you choose your coach after enrolling in the program, you'll be able to choose me as your coach to provide further support throughout your journey. And at the end of all that, you're added to the Course Careers employer platform where employers and hiring managers can request interviews with candidates directly, which means that you might be able to secure a job without even applying for them yourself. So thank you to Course Careers for partnering with me on this video. If you want to check out their free introductory course on software development, you can check that out from my affiliate link down below in the description. And if you use that link, you will also get a $50 special discount from the full program if you choose to enroll. So going back to college, you might still not be convinced. You might think like, oh, it's okay. I can get government loans for it. It gives me job security and like a backup path and sure, fine. But let me tell you something different. Let me just give you a scenario of two different people. We have person number one who goes to university for four years, paying the average tuition of $30,000 a year or whatever. After those four years, they're able to land an 80K job as a software engineer. Pretty good, right? Now consider another person who doesn't go to university, but because they choose a much faster path to like beeline them for the first job, sure, the first job might not be quite as high as the university graduate, but they're gonna be able to land it after six months or a year. So even if the job pays only 60K a year, that person is already making that 60K a year while the other person is still paying $30,000 a year. So let's say after 10 years, who's gonna be on top? So the first guy who went into university has paid off $120,000 in debt and earned $480 in salary. So a net of $360,000. And of course, we are massively simplifying. We're assuming that there's no taxes, which is obviously not the case in most countries. We're assuming there's no interest, etc., etc. but just to oversimplify. The other person, however, has made a total of $600,000, which we got from multiplying 60K a year by 10. And of course, this is assuming that the salary doesn't even increase, which is obviously not the case. What would happen in reality is that perhaps the starting salary of the graduate is gonna be slightly higher. But after a couple of years, no one really cares about your degree anyway all they really care about is your experience and if you have the experience the non-degree person is going to have just the same opportunities as the degree person so really the additional salary for the graduate is probably going to be slightly higher only the first couple of years into your career but the thing is again that person is going to start their career much later than the person that didn't go to university and perhaps yes they had to work slightly harder or even much harder to land their first job but because they have four extra years to do that almost always the math will come out to that person getting on top so going to college literally makes you poorer because the real cost of university is not just the financial cost but also the time cost the extra time that you have to spend to do it when you could be doing something different so 
with all that being said, if university is not the path to get rich with coding, what is then? What do you need to focus on instead? So right here, we need to look at what are the companies actually want? What are the tech companies want to see in their employees? All they want are competent employees that can do the job. And when it comes to landing your first job, your difficulty is simply convincing that company that you are a competent employee. And this is where the degree obviously helps because all other things being equal, passing a difficult computer science curriculum does showcase to them that you're at least somewhat of a like normal and smart person that's able to go through and get into universities like that. So if there's a different way that you can prove your skills to the companies, that is really going to serve the exact same purpose. And that is exactly what course careers, for example, are building there. They understand it and they have created this system that essentially proves to the employers that you have the skills, except you have to spend a lot less money and a lot less time to do it. There's only really one thing that matters in the big picture, and that is your offer. So for example, if you're selling a product, whether that product is going to make you money or not, really at the end of the day, like sure, it depends on like how well you sell it, your marketing, etc. But really what matters is, is that product good? Does it actually solve the problem that it's supposed to solve? So how does this relate to us like trying to get rich with coding? Well, when you're trying to get rich with coding, your product is your skills. And if you're doing it via working for companies, your product is going to be how well can you do the job for the companies? How well can you essentially make money for the company? So really at the end of the day, the thing to focus on is not which degree you have and things like this, is are you a good software engineer or not? Do you know how to think like a programmer? Do you know how to solve problems with code? Do you understand software architecture? Are you a good software engineer? Is your offer strong? And in the big picture, it doesn't matter where you build those skills as long as you build it. And I know that that might sound like scary to you because if you're a beginner, you probably don't feel like you are good at coding. You don't probably feel like you have the skills here. So I just want to leave you with this message at the end of this video. In the beginning, it's going to be a struggle. In the beginning, it's going to be a lot of time of you looking at code, looking at projects, looking at courses, and you having no idea what to do. Like, heck, I still, I mean, I still code projects every single week. And a lot of the time when I start a project, I have no idea what I'm doing. That is a completely normal feeling in tech. But the thing that you want to think about is that every time you build something, just try to think of like a couple of things to take away from that. A couple of things that you can think like, okay, like now I understand how like this framework works, or now I learned this new concept about Python, for example. As long as you're building out a couple of new skills every single day, every single week, like overall your skills are improving over time. If you just keep doing that, and if you just don't stop, if you just keep doing the work and you keep trying, it would be completely unreasonable that at some point, eventually you won't get a chance. So that is really what matters. I hope you like this video. I hope you make the right choice for you. Whatever you choose, coding is one of the most potent skills in this day and age to make money. I know I'm not necessarily just talking about getting a job with coding. There's so many more paths and so many more ways to make money with coding. So if you're looking for a more step-by-step -step path to make money with coding, you can watch this video right here where I go through a step-by-step -step process of exactly what I would do today in this market if I was starting over and I wanted to make $10,000 a month or more with coding. Go watch that video next and I'll see you in the next one.